Welcome back to Cartoon Universe, my name's Deep Cut, and here's another episode of What Did We Learn? At the end of episode one, we saw Steven symbolically burying his childhood while making the affirmation that he will one day become a crystal gem. In the metaphor of the show, becoming a crystal gem is really more about becoming an adult. And for most people, an important part about becoming an adult is realizing that your parents weren't exactly perfect. For Steven, that journey begins here. In many ways, this episode serves as a second pilot for the series. Gem Glow did a good job of establishing what Steven's norm is, but it left us with a lot of questions of how he ended up there. Laser Light Cannon does a lot to rectify this. In Episode 1, for instance, Steven seems to only have the crystal gems in his life. But in this episode, we learn not just about his father, but also his mother, and of course the relationship that they shared. The episode opens with Steven and Amethyst just hanging out, and this is quickly interrupted by the sight of a large robotic ship slowly approaching Beach City from outer space. The Crystal Gems seem worried, and note that the only thing strong enough to stop it is a laser light cannon that belonged to Rose Quartz. Despite the imminent danger and worry, Steven is too naive to understand the consequences quite yet, and innocently tries to find the cannon with the help of his father. Greg is introduced as what we kind of expect based off of his absence from Steven's home. He seems like a deadbeat dad. Not only is he not living with Steven, but he is living in a van that he's sleeping in, in the middle of the day. Despite this, Greg is not displayed as someone to hate. Like we discussed in the last episode, the show is mostly teaching us to live the way that makes us the most happy, and Greg definitely does that. Despite his supposed shortcomings, Greg is not only happy, but he's also there for Steven the moment Steven needs him, and nothing makes him happier than knowing Steven cares. One thing this episode does a really good job of is combining the smaller character drama with the magical adventure elements the show is built on. It's something that is refreshing to rewatch because it is discarded for long stretches of time later on, when towny episodes and even Crystal Gem character development begins to come at the cost of adventure and take place entirely in mundane moments. But what this episode does an even better job of is teaching us so much about what is to come through one single sentence. If every pork chop was perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. On the surface, it's a rather silly statement, but it is one that rings true. Our parents are people we tend to see as perfect when we are children. They are the masters of our world, our lives, our destinies. And when they have unfortunately left our world, as is the case with Rose Quartz, they can seem even more perfect because of how the people around us choose to talk about them, hiding their flaws. But in that one seemingly silly line, they told us everything we need about Rose Quartz. I don't think the show is trying to tell us that Rose is better than Stephen. On the contrary, the show is built around Stephen trying to make up for her mistakes. What they are trying to tell us is that if everyone in the world matched the seemingly perfect standard that society expects, the ideal of beauty or intelligence or work ethic, we would not have all the amazing things that exist today. Rose went against what the gem hierarchy expected of a perfect gem, and because of that, we got Steven. It is our ability to deviate, to rebel, to be the person we want to be, despite the supposed standard before us. The will to not be what society tells us is perfect that gives way to so many amazing things. And sometimes those things are simply us.